At number five and under 88. Uh, this is so exciting here. William Tackett at a Brazilian Fight Factory rep, uh, repping team uh, level black. Taking on the Hulk. Representing Atos. Atos up one nothing here. Immediately trying to get a hold of the legs is Tackett. So he sits guard. Might have taken a little eye poke there. Might have taken a knee to the head. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, this is going to be rough, man. Hulk is rough. Tack it. It's not like he rolls gently, that's for sure. Hulk trying to sit to the hip. Trying to pass explosively here on the young William Tackett. Tackett pushing away with that right leg. Almost, almost took Hulk off the stage there. Tackett sco scoots around to center. He'll favor to his left side. Square back off. Immediately trying to lock over on an arm. Barbosa will get back to the feet. All right, Barbosa takes the knee. Tackett looking on a wrist lock here. Locks up the guard. If Tackett wrist locks Hulk, Hulk's going to elevate. Use it for the slam. But Tackett is, is tight on those wrist locks. And, yo, they count. He made Hulk pick him up and slam him to defend it. This match is getting gritty. Yes, it's going to be. We're only one minute in. I like it. Yeah, Tackett's a half guard on his left side. Hulk trying to pierce that left leg through two on or I'm sorry that's a wrist control grip by Hulk back to the feet here trying to push Tackett's guard by now you see him trying to pass he was successful with these passes against Taza where he was able to get to north south Tackett able to square back off framing off the head Tackett underhooks the leg on his right side and Hulk tight to that body lock here in the open guard of Tackett. Left leg's butterflied. Hulk trying to pass to his right, keeping that shoulder heavy on Tackett. Tight body lock here from the top position. You see Tackett was momentarily going underneath with that left arm. I was thinking possibly Sumigashi, but I believe uh, Hulk's pressure was more worried about him passing. So he squares back off. Hulk keeping, trying to get his head to the same side as the side he's trying to pass. Tackett does a good job of crossing his head back over, not allowing that to happen. Tackett from the bottom. He's flattened out, just traditional half guard, triangle to the outside. Hulk trying to pop that knee up and cut it through while he keeps that body lock. Now, as he was getting to his feet, you see Tackett using that opportunity to push the head away to create some space. So now every time Hulk goes to get up, he knows that Tackett's going to be moving that way. So you're likely to see Barbosa kind of hunker down even more from this position and really try to pass without having to elevate his hips off the mat. Easier said than done. Uh, but again, when you have somebody like Tackett underneath of you and you feel those little movements, this is what I mean. Now you see him trying to switch to a head and arm control so that he can stay uh, with his hips or with his knees on the mat. And again, it's it's a good strategy when you got a guy like Tackett, man. The biggest thing is is they're so good at not giving up the position that holding him and controlling him once you gets there is so important. Hulk hop, pops up a little bit, able to cut that knee through. Tackett able to square himself back off, get back into half guard. But Hulk is able to get his upper body head and arm control in this little scramble. And Hulk's able to get that knee across. You see him pushing. He may be able to get the pass there, and he will get the pass. So cross side position for Barbosa, ADCC bronze medalist. Good and guard yeah, retention. Yeah, Tackett squares Tackett. back up, gets that shin in front, foot to the outside. And again, you see him turning his hip towards the mat to get his knee pointed down so it's a little easier for him to invert. He'll square back off. Good defense by Hulk. Two minutes left. Oh, my God. He just looked up the time for the first time. Two minutes to go. Top position. Atos is... Lucas Barbosa, bottom position, team level black. Brazilian Fight Factory representative William Tackett trying to invert here. And again, you'll see him turning to his hip so that he can point his knee down. That makes the inversion much easier. Hulk holding on to that leg. Yeah, he's going to dive right on top of that hip. Tackett able to square himself back off into a butterfly. Looking at Williams guard again where he's underneath. Hulk now will allow his hips to come off the mat. He's trying to step over that leg. Sinks himself back in. Did he hop that leg over to mount on the other side? Where's his left leg? No, it's no. triangled. 
Still tight to the body lock here. We're a minute left. Otto's up one nothing. Uh, Hulk very very well may take this decision here. We might not get to see uh, uh, Clay Gatiss, but we will see Hulk staying tight to that body lock again, looking for that pass. You see Tackett trying to push that leg back in. Now Hulk will get the pass again. Knee on the stomach, trying to move the mount. He'll go three quarter here. Again, keeping heavy shoulder pressure. Moving up on that straight arm. I've seen him finish this many times. Tackett able to find his way out of it. He'll remain in that seated position. Final 30 seconds. Good attempt there by Barbosa. I've seen him finish uh, quite a few people with that straight arm from there. Trying to invert is Tackett to get to that far leg. Hulk doing a good job of just keeping that pressure heavy. Squares back off here is Tackett. And we got the final, uh, we're under 10 seconds here. He sits on a leg. Hulk stepped over on that leg to get an attempt in here. Oh, it was a calf slice. So we're going to go to judge's decision here. If Barbosa wins this, Team Autos will be your subversive four champion. Here we go. And you know this decision victory. And Team Autos will be your first place finisher here at... Subversive Fort here, 2300 Arena in Philly. Hulk Barbosa will make it 2-0 for Team.